Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens cap here, and can we look at... We're still Dave. Uh, this is episode number 16 of Star Made. Where was I? Oh, here I was. I am just uh, kind of cleaning up a little bit, moving some stuff. Um, this Where did this room come from? This is, uh, this is our new captain's quarters. Um, so I... Uh, let's talk about this for a second. I... Um, uh, destroy the interior we made last episode. It just didn't... It didn't match my plan for the Queen Bee. It looked awesome. I thought it was a great interior. And we're kind of using the same style in this one. But, as you can see, the shape of the outer hull just doesn't fly with... Ah, I get it, bee fly. <laughs> what? Uh, it just didn't fly with uh, my plans for um, the exterior. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to completely tear down the hull, which sucks, I know, but I, uh, I've already rebuilt it um, on the inside or the, re the interior. Let's do a quick tour um, so you guys can see kind of what I've done here. I'm going to turn on gravity. Hope it don't fall off. So this would be the way to the bridge, which will be the head of the bee. And we'll design that in a future episode. Um, but as we walk into here, there's lighting. The lighting is pretty good. There's grates in the floor. Um, I am going to fill every single block that I can with ship systems. Um, obviously, the interior isn't going to be full of systems. But uh, anything that's not basically like on our tour today is probably going to be... Um, I'm going to do my best to fill it with like shield blocks and uh, that kind of stuff. So, where do we start? Here's crew quarters. I did manage to get everybody upstairs. Here's all four of our crew. Um, and our captain has his own room. Ooh, it's a little dark in here when you shut the door. We might need a light in the ceiling, maybe right here. Uh, maybe right here. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, it's still dark over here. We may just deal with it. Do I have rod lights on me? Aha! We can do rod light. Perfect. Problem solved. Resolved. Um, I've got storage out the wazoo, and I was just moving the stuff up from the little hold that I built. Um, I don't know if I showed that on camera or not. I built a little treasure room or whatever, kind of like I talked about doing, and uh, I've already removed it. <laughs> uh, I decided I wanted that room for ship systems instead and would move all the storage up here, so... Uh, here's crew quarters. We got one, two, three, four beds. So that's um, for our crew. You know, we said last episode we decided we were going to have a crew of five. Um, we're going to go captain, navigator, gunner, medical officer, engineer. So that's what we're doing. I need to put up display modules so you know what door goes where. This is the captain's quarters. He's got a bunch of storage. Uh, his room is pretty small, but he uh, is a pirate captain. He doesn't need a huge room. He just needs some privacy. Um, I should put in a desk in here, probably. Captain's got to have a desk. There's that. Uh, we have a little ladder right here. This goes down to the head. Um, currently, there's nothing in the head. Um, and for those of you who are not in the know, uh, head is ship slang for bathroom. So there's that. Um, I like the doors on the ladders. Um, oh, tell me what you think about these ladders, by the way. This kind of is just something I... You know what? This block is missing. I'll just have to... Can I fix it now? Ah, not without removing doors and stuff. Okay, I'll fix it later. There needs to be a block right there. Uh, the doors for the ladders. Um, I put them all in the corner, so I think that works out pretty well. And then there's like a bottom door or two for privacy or whatever. Um, this is the airlock. We'll do that last. Here's going to be our new galley, um, right next to the bathroom, kind of suits. Um, grates in the floors, some piping under some of it. I think it's going to be cool once we get the ship systems in. You'll be able to see those through the floor and stuff. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. Um, the galley needs some love. I'm going to put in uh, some stuff like um, grills and ovens and random storage things for food. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, here is our medical bay. 
A little bit of storage in here. I got some medical supplies, a bed, pretty standard. Um, I'm thinking about maybe putting... What's behind this? Just black hole? Uh, okay, we might put like a plant or something in the corner just to give it some life. Uh, more life is always good. You know, uh, the little details like that are what really add to a build. Um, I need to go through and put piping in the ceiling and the floor and the walls. And maybe we'll put some, like, actual modules and stuff in the floor so it looks functional as well. I don't know. We'll get there when we get there. I like the way the grading came out, though, uh, kind of around the edges like that. Um, we do need a couple of things like maybe stools at the bar. Maybe that's important, maybe not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe two of them. One here, one here, one here, one here. I don't know. We need like a little table that our guys can sit at and play cards or whatever. Um, this door opens up to another ladder. This goes to our core room. Here's the core room. Uh, if we hop in the core... Um, we, when we hop out of the core, we hop back into the core room. Um, I did have the walls smoothed out with wedges, but then when we hopped out of the core, we hopped into the ship, and I didn't like that. So I took out the wedges, and uh, it seems like we have enough space now. This, is, this room is going to look really cool once we get ship systems. I just got to remember to make it so that I don't hide that light or that one, which I don't think I can hide that one. It's right on top of the grates. But that one's not. Uh, okay, and all of the ladders are at a place where I don't think they're actually like functional as ladders, but you can jump. They're all short enough uh, that you can jump around. I did consider having a ladder go up as well. Like I have this one that goes down into the head. Um, I thought about maybe changing up how the airlock works and just having this ladder go up also. Uh, but I don't know what room I would put up there. And I would almost rather have the space for ship systems. But it would be a cool addition to have a room up there, maybe access to a turret or something. That would be neat. If we go this way, this takes us to engineering. You guys have seen the drone bay, but you haven't seen my uh, way to get there yet. So um, that's the airlock. That's the head. And I added these pipes in to kind of keep you on the path without really constraining your what ability to maneuver. Um, I like this grading and stuff. It makes it feel really industrial and whatnot. A little light there. I actually could put a light here too. I, I realize that you can actually walk through those. Um, I like the pipes though. They seem to uh, really add a lot without without really feeling constrained like a wall would. And once we get this full of systems, it'll look really cool with all the animations and stuff through there. And then you can't walk out past them. Um, I like the piping around too. That looks neat. Um, if we just hop down here, this takes us into the drone bay. You guys have seen the drone bay. Um, there are no um, modifications of that. And I, remo I did remove the, the rooms that we had in here. And this is where I put that treasure room, but uh, like I said, I removed it. There's still treasure here, actually, and we need to... Um, I'm in the process of taking all this stuff uh, kind of upstairs and putting it... Whoops. Um, in the various captain's quarters and the in the various chests in the, in the uh, captain's quarters and the crew quarters. Uh, looks like we got most of it, actually. Oh, yeah, I think we maybe got all of it. That may have been our last trip. Let's take some of these with us. Make sure they're empty before we pick them up. We learned that in a previous episode, that if you uh, if you destroy a chest with stuff in it, you destroy the stuff in it, too. We definitely do not want that. <laughs> this is all the stuff I have. Well, no, that's not true. I have a lot of storage over at the um, at the derelict we claimed. But it's... It's not super far away, but it's far enough that it's inconvenient to get there. Uh, so that, uh, what do you think, though? I like the new interior. And I have returned. Uh, I went on a journey for some foliage. Oh, foliage. Oh, before we look into this, 
Guys, check this out. Uh, this interior that I've been working on is so awesome. Oh yeah, there's pipes everywhere. The ceiling, oh. The ceiling and the floors, dude. You wanna squeeze some extra power into your ship? Put thrusters in your floor and your ceiling. This looks awesome. Uh, oh, I missed a couple spots. Let's uh, let's fill these 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 spots out here. Uh, that's it. That's all I did. Thrusters and pipes and crazy patterns. And then it looks. Um, I mean, if that's the look you're going for, obviously, if that's not the look you want, then you know, it's your ship. Do as you will. But uh, for me, that looks exactly like what I want. Uh, this ship. Let me get some gravity going. Uh, this ship, I want it to feel um, industrial and used and like uh, like pieces floating everywhere and uh, stuff like that. We could even uh, we could even put some back here like this. Oh, there's a spot there. What? Okay, that that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, the the interior looks awesome. Okay, I wanted to add in some plants, maybe. Uh, just to kind of decorate it up a little bit. I went back to the uh, the thing that I have, the derelict that we claimed, and got some plants. Let's see. Oh, hanging. I didn't expect it to be hanging. Uh, no. Why is it hanging? I don't want it hanging. Maybe because these aren't full blocks. That kind of sucks. No, it's just upside down. What the heck? Oh, I, I bet I can advance build mode, change orientation. Yep. Okay, but I was thinking small berry bush. That kind of works. What if we... Yeah, that's a little better. Kind of just add some life, some greenery in here. Uh, it's kind of like... Um... I don't know if a lot of you guys, how old my kind of demographic is for this, but uh, when you start, when you move out of your parents' house and you start um, looking at apartments um, and stuff, one of the easiest ways to make your apartment feel um, like home is to put plants in it. Let's see, did I do that right? Yes, I did. Uh, put plants in it, and then it feels like someone lives there. Um, and that's awesome. So, what about grass? No. We're going to do the berry bush again. The berry bush seems to be the most, like, bonsai tree feeling. I like that there. I like that berry bush there. I also did this with the pipes. I put these pipes all over the place. Um, and I think that looks pretty cool. Over here's one. And they extend up into the ceiling, not very far, but far enough that uh, it kind of adds some depth. And they go down into the floor, again, not very far. Uh, this one does not because of the airlock. Um, I guess it could go up, but uh, whatever, it's fine. That one's fine. This one doesn't go up either, but that's fine. It does, however, go down. I could put a light on the bottom of it. If I needed to. It seems there's plenty of light over here in this corner, though. I got lights all over the place, so I don't think that's going to be necessary. Uh, that'll be cool. Um, we want to fill the bottom and the top, uh, above and below the living quarters um, with ship systems. What's this cactus look like? Let's put that in here. I don't know, man. The berry bush is my favorite. Definitely the berry bush is the best one. Yep, hands down. Berry bush. 
Maybe we put the cactus here. Just for something there. Oh, I don't like the cactus. <laughs> uh, what? I haven't tried the ice fan. That's kind of weird. Okay, that's kind of medical feeling. Maybe we put the ice fan flower in here. Just for something a little different. Variation is key. Ooh, this wall is really blank, guys. Aha, uh -huh. here's the thing with thrusters, though. If you're using thrusters in your wall, it seems like... Let's test it really quick. Uh, but I believe, though, if you put them... So you can, like, change the orientation and stuff, right? Of these bad boys, so they're facing... So then they're not facing... Um... See, like, this one is facing towards the back of the ship now. If we turn it like this, then it faces the left. Um, and that way you don't see the, uh, like, the actual, like, thruster part of it. But if we go here, yeah, so you still get the red glow. And I don't want that. So let's remove those. And put, uh, we'll just put, well, we could do pipes. Let's do pipes. That gives the wall uh, some character, something to look at. And actually, okay, and we can do the thruster still, but down here. Because this last one is has hull next to it, so you won't see the glow. And I think these are still facing the right way. Let's look. Oh, no, they're not. That's okay. That's an easy fix. We'll just switch them around. That way, yep. And because I don't want to see the circle parts, I just want the texture. Uh, oh no, they still show through. Okay, well I guess we can't be doing that. We'll just ha we have to do regular hull there, I guess. Well, we don't have to. I mean, we could do something crazy like display modules uh, with no data. And we'll put them so they output to the side. It doesn't matter which side. How's that look? Yeah, a little more industrial. Uh, it's too similar to the gray hull, though. We ought to just use gray hull in this case. Maybe the display modules would work somewhere else. Uh, but for here, we'll just stick with gray hull. It's worth, uh, it's worth, though, looking at a bunch of different options to see, you know, what kind of works best with your builds. And that way, uh, you get something that looks cool. Um, is that hull there? I think it is. And I'm sitting at the bar. For some reason, it's about chin height, which is a li <laughs> That's not quite right, but whatever. That's how Starmate is, so... A um, little bit of a shorter episode for today, guys, but thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. Let me know what you think of the interior. It was only a second interior I've ever uh, done in Star Made, and the first one was in the last episode, so ha ha! <laughs> um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you, uh, if you want some more, subscribe to my channel. I try and put out at least three, and a lot of the times four um, episodes of this. Oh, I just noticed that sign is not right let's let's fix that real quick before we cut um that's gonna bug the crap out of me it just needs to say uh, medical medical bay and we gotta put a bunch of spaces in front of it so it lines properly okay that's close let's erase like four spaces perfect beautiful great thanks for watching